Let's say. Thank you for <laughs> for showing up here. Let's fix this. We'll always do this on the fly, like we're professionals here. Thank you for showing up. Appreciate you. I don't even know if this thing started or not. These are always really awkward at the very beginnings. I can't see if they actually started or not. We good? Yeah. No. Maybe. I'm just going to continue talking and pretend that everyone can hear me. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Appreciate it. And uh, happy uh, Wednesday. Normally, we do these at the last Friday of every month. And then now we're like a, a week in and I still haven't uh, started yet. But it'll be fine. Why don't we start here? There we go. Okay. So we are. Okay. Hi. So Yeah, it is bald, man. So I don't know why they put ads at the beginning of live streams. I don't like that. It doesn't really make much sense to me. But anyway. Ooh, kill the fruit fly. Part of the thing with having dart frogs is there's just fruit flies everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Look at this Reptiverse, four ninety nine. Hey Adam, how you doing? Thank you so much, Reptiverse, for showing up. Appreciate you. Can't wait for our one on one. I think on the sixteenth. I know I wrote it down. I'm pretty sure it's the sixteenth. But anyway, there's new Patreon tiers and oh, Sabbathy the Powerful. What's up? Forgot that you were a mod, but appreciate you because might put you to work today. Um, yeah. Get that ad money. That's right, buddy. That's right. So we uh, we did some new Patreon tiers. I don't know if we talked about this last time. I think it's been a month since we did it. We'll talk about that. We got some babies rolling in, and we're going to do like a super cool reveal of the incubator, and maybe there's eggs that have hatched, and maybe there's not. I haven't checked yet today. I've been waiting for you guys. And um, what else? Babies giveaway. We're going to give away tickets to an expo, give away a shirt. I don't know. We'll give away some stuff, I guess, if you want something else. Uh, a snake shed. I don't know. Whatever you guys want. And, uh, oh, yeah, and talking about the new direction of the channel because we're going to do stuff differently because I feel like we need to break away from the top fives a bit. And uh, what we've been doing hasn't been working. So I would like you guys to tell me exactly what you'd like to see and hear. All right. Um, and as always, I want to th- say thank you very much at the very beginning. For the Super Chats, appreciate you. Of course, I'm going to try to read as much as I can, but um, Super Chats get read first just because they're big and bold and I see them. So anyway, even if it's two ninety nine, don't care. Appreciate you. You're the freaking best. You guys are freaking awesome. So I am great. Hope you guys are great too. Giveaway. Yeah, we're going to give away a shirt today. You want Stevie? Sorry. <laughs> no Stevie today. Stevie is uh, – did you guys see $2,000 for a belly button piercing? How about a nipple piercing instead? You guys give me $2,000 on this stream right now. I'll get a nipple piercing. How about that? I already have one, but I'll pierce the other one. Uh, Sean Roussel. Hey, Adam, you and Clint are my fave channels. Keep the vids coming. Well, I'm hoping to see Clint later this year. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Clint's one of my favorite channels too. And when I first started with YouTube, uh, Clint was a one of the inspirations for me to, not to start really, but um, to, I don't know, like to, like what is successful, what works. And I took a lot from Clinton presentation style and stuff like that. So not a Prince Albert, not going to happen. Reptiverse, nice. I can't wait either. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, why, why is the heart thing in the way? <sighs> LOL. I'm arguing with publishers about the contract for my fantasy novel. But when it comes out, let me know. I do not read, but <laughs> I'll buy it anyway because it looks good on my shelf. Turns out if you have a... Oh, where's Diamond? Good question. Turns out if you have a shelf of books, people think you're a lot smarter than you are, even if you don't read. Where is Diamond? Oh. Oh, your light burnt out. We'll take care of that tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow's Thursday? Friday. So the zookeeper comes. Okay. Did we miss anything? No, we're good. All right. The heart tends to be in the way, yes. Oh, it's so true. 248 people. We're doing great. Thank you guys so much. If you don't mind, hit the like button. Appreciate you. Just doesn't cost anything. Just click, you know? Oh, usually I start with a pickle. I drank the pickle juice. That's good enough, right? But the problem is I do so many pickle reels and I drink so much of the pickle juice that I the pickles start to get dry. So I have to eat the pickles at a faster rate. That's usually how it goes. I wish you could buy just pickle brine. That would be a life changer. Okay. Um, I have beardy eggs in a cooler incubator. Nice. Oh, that I taught you how to make. Cool. So I still use the same cooler incubators that I've been using, which we're going to show you in a few minutes. But basically, I've been uh, incubating leopard gecko eggs and hognose eggs and um, African fat cell eggs in one of those cooler incubators. I tried to do Prasina eggs, but they didn't like heel belly lizards, but they didn't, uh, they, they, they're 
they didn't work out. I think they were squished before I got them anyway. Um, my frog's named after you, Wiccans. Oh, it just died. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. That's sad. <sighs> oh, chill out there, buddy. Okay. We're just going to, yep, right there. That's fine. You need your nails clipped badly. Okay. Yeah, I might kill my ear. Oh, but you got, there you go. How about that? I'll tell you what though, um, animal nails on your bald scalp, it feels weird. It feels weird. No matter how much shine you put on it. I do shine my head for you guys, just for you guys. Okay. Um, what are we going to talk about today? Oh, babies, new species, whatever. I would like to know in the comment section from you guys, how do you feel about the video that we did? It was called Diamond Story. And I talked all about how I got diamond, where diamond came from, the whole thing. And I was just kind of doing like a feature. Oh, we never did your pores. We'll do them after. Um, about diamond, how we, like his whole thing, how I take care of him, where he came from, you know, the future, how old he is, all that stuff. Did you like that video? Should we do more of those? It didn't do particularly well. In fact, it did pretty poorly. But maybe if we continued... Um, then they'd get better. I don't know. You tell me. How's the fire situation? Uh, Reptiverse, thanks again for the 199. Appreciate you. Uh, I mean, so the fires are in Quebec, which is like eight hours away from me. So I'm safe, I'm totally safe. But I am asthmatic and I have been having a little bit of issues breathing. But uh, yeah, it's fine. I mean, realistically, I'm not going to complain about a little coughing. Uh, it could be way worse. So I feel bad for anyone who's, you know, families at risk or their home or whatever else. And I hope everyone's safe. But I am safe here. Uh, totally. I'm fine. And if I'm not, I'm just going to jump in the pool. It'll be fine. It'll probably warm up. Anyway, that's a bad joke. Preston Barrett, $5. I love your videos. And my wife loves you too. We watch your videos first thing when we go to bed. So we see what we want to add to our conservatory. See, told you I wasn't lying when I said I don't read. Uh, well, thank you so much for the $5. I appreciate you. And uh, we'll make a deal, okay? If you keep watching the videos... I'll keep pumping them out. How's that for a deal for you? Appreciate you. Diamond is doing great. Uh, I did notice that he is a little bit skinny. Like when you see your animal constantly, you don't really notice. And he's always been small, but I noticed like from the, when I first got him to, or not when I first got him, but when I first plumped him up to now. So I think we're going to up his feeding schedule just a bit, but he's still at a very healthy weight. And of course he's not obese because obese animals drive me freaking why I can't handle that. Like it's, it's just so bad. There's no reason for it. And also it costs you more money. Why would you want to do that in the first place? I know they're impressive, but like, Oh, it's chunky. It's so cute. Yeah. It's going to die. So don't do that. Um, someone was asking about a jar of pickles as if I'm not always strapped, but too much garlic. Okay. Um, I know I'm invisible. What's up, Bobby Wallace? I see you. Pickles are cucumbers soaked in evil. You're evil. I don't know what you're talking about. So I got some pretty exciting stuff coming up. So there, we're going to give away tickets to the um, Reptile Expo in June. I'm going to give away two pair of tickets. Why don't, we, why don't we do one right now? There's 277 people here. If you're in Toronto area, Mississauga, GTA, whatever, and you're in that area on uh, June 25th, how about you say right now, Expo, hashtag Expo, put it in the comments section, and I'm going to randomly pick. But don't enter unless you can actually go to the expo, okay? And you don't have to be in Toronto. I've had people show up from Maryland to show up to who won these, right? Curly Hair Keeper, shout out to you. But if you can't go, please don't enter because I don't want to take away the tickets from someone who actually would go, right? So I'm only giving away two, two pairs. And then I'll give some away on the 23rd of the Instagram also. But um, you're so little. Look how little you are. Oh, and I want to talk about the travel video that's on Patreon that I just did too. But... For now, I'll just give you a couple more minutes or a couple more seconds to the expo. Is this Pepsi Max? Oh, there's a fruit fly in it. Hold on. I'll just drink it. It's extra protein, right? Okay. I'm going to pick right now. Uh, randomly pick Jacob McPhee. Jacob McPhee. Please email me at wickedswickedreptiles at gmail.com, Jacob McPhee, and uh, I'll send you your passes. Okay. River Vanderlight. You are tall and ride bicycles, I bet. Huge fan. Hope you and your animals are doing well. They're all doing great. Thank you very much. If there's a special thing you want to see, 
let me know. I can bring him out. Feeding day was on Tuesday. Oh, feeding day was yesterday. But I don't think the ball put. So I can take Pikachu out or. Anyway. Reptiverse, can we do a giveaway in the future for September? I'm actually going to that one. So yes, Reptiverse, we can. Thank you for the $4.99 again. I appreciate you. You're the best. Reptiverse, by the way, um, a top tier Patreon supporter. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to talk to you at the end of the month. But pee pee poo poo, that is the best comment so far today. Thank you so much. Um, So I'm going to do giveaways for the September one, but I'm not going to be at the September one. Because the September one is the same at, um, weekend as Animal Con. I promised Brian last year that I'd be at the next Animal Con. Uh, there's a whole story. But like basically, okay, more or less, more or less last year was the first Animal Con. A lot, there's a moderator for each of the panels. And then Brian asked me to do a lot more panels than I was supposed to do. And I said yes to all of them because you just help out. You're there anyway, right? So, um yeah, I was asked to come to the next – anyway, the, anyway, and now we all know the situation with Brian, so I'm obviously not going to miss that. It's just not – I'm going to Animal Con. It doesn't matter. I can't go to the one in September in Toronto, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Adam, very sorry for calling you one too many times on Discord. Okay, so no problem. I'm sorry that I was short with you. But at the same time, like I'm starting a stream in two minutes. You know what? I posted on the Discord and you called me anyway. So anyway, I'm sorry that I was short with you, but yeah, don't call me on Discord. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hey, Dr. Plants. I love Dr. Plants' channel and he's never paid me to say it. Animal Con will be sick this year. Can't wait to meet you and uh, your, your top tier videos. Top tier videos. Um, yeah. You shaved your head? Sick. Me too. I've been shaving my head in solidarity with Brian for six years. And no one gave me a shout out. I'm just kidding 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 but okay we did that <clears throat> let's show uh babies in eight minutes i think and then in terms of the new direction i don't know if any of you guys answered but i did that you know this is diamond diamond store thing did you guys appreciate that did you guys like that tell me what you think about um doing spotlights on different animals and if you want me to continue doing them i will and then of course in the uh comment section you can let me know which animals you'd like me to do as well so what did i miss can we do it oh man i'm really behind on this i don't know why i'm so behind yeah okay you all right perfect yeah i just don't know why people didn't watch it also so tomorrow's video is going to be so tomorrow's video i'm very proud of so you, the bali video is by far the best video i've ever made it only has forty-seven thousand views five months later. So it did really poorly, but of all the videos I've ever done, the Bali video is the best by far, not even close, nothing even similar to it. It is. I'm so proud of that video. Tomorrow's video is on par with that quality, but it is much shorter. So Dave and I, Dave Kaufman and I went to Thailand in October, November, and I never put up the videos because I put up the vault, the Bali video first. And it just tanked. It did so bad. It took me like six days to make six full working days and nobody watched it. So you should do a Yoshi story video. That's hilarious because I actually have a Yoshi. That is well done. And I'm a 90s kid, so I appreciate that. Anyway, so I did um, Thailand. I think the video is going to be called uh, Thailand Wild Creatures Urban Environment. And it's a herping video with Chris Sweet. I don't know if you guys know Chris Sweet. He keeps a bunch of venomous stuff in Thailand. Dave Kaufman and I went to Thailand. We went to uh, Katarchak Market, which is the largest weekend market in the entire world, okay, in Bangkok. It's so big. There's like six sections. We walked through one in a whole day. It took us a whole day to walk through one. All right. So we're walking through and there's, I think, four or five pet stores we went into and reptile shops. And that was really cool because we walked through this entire market. No one knows who we are. And then we walk into a reptile store and everybody knows who we are. Right. It was very cool. It's like walking from one world to the next world. So, uh, yeah, Dave's from Minnesota. I don't know why you choose to live there. But anyway, so we, and then we walk into one and I'm like, isn't that Chris Sweet? And we messaged Chris Sweet earlier to see if he would take us herping because he lives in Bangkok and he was busy. So we walk in, all oh, my flight to wherever he was going got canceled. And then the next day he took us out. And when I said that we saw 16 white lip pit vipers in three hours, um, that's no exaggeration. Uh, we saw so many freaking pit vipers. And then we saw big eye pit vipers and pipe snakes and um, – uh, not rainbow snakes. What am I trying to say here? Anyway, there was a bunch. Oh, tentacle snakes, right? 
So we saw tentacle snakes that were living in raw sewage, right? The craziest thing that I've ever seen. And I'm so excited to show you if you're already a patron member, $5 and up. So if you want to go sign up and it's, it's basically free, right? You sign up for the uh, trial and it's five bucks. And if you don't like it, then you just can't sunbeam snake. That's exactly it. It's the last snake in the video and you can cancel if you don't like it, but go sign up for Patreon now, watch the video. It is by far um, the best video that I put out this calendar year. I'm really excited about it. It took me like three hours to make the intro, which is 38 seconds. So I'm very proud of it. And I want to say thank you guys so much for watching and giving feedback. Uh, thank you guys so much. So yeah, talking pickle. So, oh, in every 20 bucks we get. So we, what was the thing? For $2,000 Canadian, uh, I'll get my nipple pierced. Is that what we decided? But anyway, for every 20 bucks that comes through collectively, I'll take a swig of pickle juice. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Um, and then we're going to show, oh, might as well give away a sh Well, we're only 16 minutes in, I guess, right? <sighs> um, how do you cope with creative burnout? How do I put this in a way that doesn't sound, you're always going to feel a level of burnout. You're always going to be feeling a level of burnout, especially after 455 videos. That's how many I've made so far. But at the end of the day, you just got to continue doing it. There's a bunch of reasons why. So first of all, I started this channel with no expectation of money at all. I never made a month. I never made a dollar off social media. When I first started this channel, I was working in a uh, day job. I was in between day jobs actually. And, uh, I've told the story a million times quickly, a guy that I, um, uh, I'm a comedian, right? So a guy that I do a lot of comedy shows for a comedy promoter said, Hey, you have all these reptiles. You have a personality, you have a camera, you've got nothing to do, uh, start a channel. So I did. And I said, I'd do it for a year. Um, but then after nine months, I got some traction, seven months, I got monetized and then it started to really grow. And then during COVID I'm like, aha, okay, I got it. I'm going to be something in this space. Um, but then eventually you start to get burnt out because your, your channel peaks at a certain level and then it just kind of plateaus where, which is where mine is now, which is fine. I'm not complaining at all. It is what it is. You can't keep going up forever. And at 280,000 subscribers tomorrow, I'm going to hit, uh, I'm very thankful for all of you who are watching, right? You know, there's a thousand times more people that are watching right now are subscribed to this channel, but with the burnout, you just have to continue going. That's it. Like I, it is my job. It's what I do as a profession, right? So you can't just not do it. Um, you know, I have someone that provide that, you know, counts on me and I uh, have pets and employees and the whole thing. So I just got to continue going no matter how burnt out you are. You just continue going when you are uh, someone who does some sort of providing provision. Anyway. That's the answer. Okay, Young Smoke Pole, what's up? Adrian, appreciate you, buddy. 20 bucks Canadian. It's Adam and his talking pickle. Love the vid on Bangkok. He's not lying. It's an awesome video by my frogs and lizards. <laughs> no, swig that pickle brew. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. And I drank that mead last weekend. Woo! So good. It was actually a few weekends ago, but for dramatic effect. Anyway, that's my uh, pickle. Or sorry, my uh, hot sauce provider, Young Smoke Pole. Appreciate you. Andrew Brown, $2. You're the best. I really appreciate your videos. Sebastian Prentice, Sabbath the Powerful. So proud of you. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Sab and I play a little local lottery, like just for fun. Like I'm not like, I don't advise gambling at all, but it's just like kind of a fun thing. And we won the lottery today, $700. So. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that was a fun thing. Thanks, Sab, for turning me on to that. Anyway, um, have you found, Adam, have you found, have I found, what have I found? I don't know. I don't know why I scratched my head like this uh adam you found an exanthic frog i have don't think so don't think so but i found a lot of frogs in fact in the video on thailand today i allude to oh yeah so i did this thailand video which comes out tomorrow but then i also have another thailand video that i can make because we went to kanker chan national park and let me tell you kanker chan national park is a uh it's a lot of driving and walking around to find a bunch of lizards. And that's basically it. So, <laughs> Oh, I did. We did? Okay, sick. Uh, Preston Barrett, $5. What are some reptile-safe fertilizer for my planted terrariums? Lizard feces. That's it. I don't fertilize anything ever. But thank you for the $5. Honestly, 
I'm not the right person to ask. Ask like a Dr. Plants maybe or something like that. But Dion, Mike, Hytula, you know, Oz, $10. You can buy just pickle juice. You can get different brands by the gallon. What? Love Diamond Story. Keep going. Whatever you're doing, uh, whatever you love doing, we will watch. Hey, thanks, Oz. Appreciate you. $10. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're telling me that you can buy pickle brine and I didn't know about it. I need to, because now I got to eat a whole bunch of pickles because <sighs> Asher's Amphibians. Uh, I don't know. You're just agreeing with somebody else. But anyway, if you've never watched it, Asher's Amphibians uh, did, Asher's Amphibians and Reptiles did a video pretending to be me, which was by far, like, Annalise was hilarious when she did Clint. She did an amazing job. Okay. Asher went above and beyond with the makeup on his face to, for the patchy beard that I have and the tattoos, which didn't work with his green screen. Hilarious, bro. Hilarious. I will always appreciate the effort that you put into that. Not just because it, it was me, just because you went like the extra mile to make that funny. Um, <laughs> so funny, dude. So funny. Hopefully I can get out to one of the uh, West Expos and meet you and stuff. That'd be fun. Do a collab or something. What's my largest pet? Kratos, the python, but I don't bring Burmese pythons out when I'm by myself, and he's in shed. So I tried to think about yesterday when Ari was here, and uh, he was uh, persnickety. Is that the word? Cantankerous? Because so if you don't know when snakes uh, go into blue, it's called their eyes kind of cloud over because they're about to shed their skin, um, and they can't see very well. Although snakes can't, some snakes can't see very well anyway, and depend more on smell. But he's just a little bit more defensive, so. And also yesterday was food day. So it's crazy. Like certain snakes that I have, they are much more inclined to be very food aggressive when it's feeding day, obviously. So for example, my boa constrictor, Emperor, boa Emperor, BCI, BI, Franny, she's about seven feet. She's big. She gets fed every six weeks. So yesterday she did not get fed when all the colubrids and stuff get fed, but she could smell it in the room and she was striking at the glass and we had to clean her out. So, cause she pooped in her water, like a, uh, I'm talking about, I'm talking about a um, Andre the Giant sized turd in her water bowl. So it was a problem, and we had to get her out. And yeah, it was, it wasn't fun. Yeah, bows are great. IMGs are one of my favorite morphs. So anyway, <sighs> finally bought a sword. Wow, don't mess with this guy. I want one of those, uh, not a flamethrowers. Can't buy them anymore, but that'd be so much fun. My 31-year-old brother's named Adam. Well, I'm 32, so it's not me. I'm old. I didn't do a stream on my birthday this year. I usually do, but it was three weeks ago. Okay. I think we're ready to show uh, babies. What do you think? Thumbs up and a comment if you want to see babies. Um, I do it for the enjoyment. Money isn't really flying in. Yeah, well, that's the problem, right? So... Uh, French fries and pickle brine. Yeah, babies. Okay, let me put diamond away, and then I'll take you into the next room. I guess I gotta disconnect this stuff too, right? Because it's got. I let my phone basically die today. I had a. I don't know. Usually I'm pretty. Oh, are you wiggly? Wiggly worm. There you go, bud. Ooh, got a ball python there. It looks like she's about to lay eggs. Okay. Miss anything? No. Let's go see babies. Okay. Okay. So I'm just, I have a power supply here. So this is just kind of like a pain in the arse. We'll figure this out. But I did notice if I have a power supply connected, I don't have to keep touching my phone because it doesn't want to keep timing out. So anyway. The reptile, the reptile room tour that we did, which actually didn't really do that well for some reason, is across the hall from that reptile room. So it's this room here with all the stuff, right? So let's do a dramatic reveal. I have no idea. Oh, all the retics want to eat, obviously. I have no idea if there's anything in here. But let's find out. Nah. Okay. So this is how we keep the incubator, basically. There's hog nose eggs down here. That's what this stuff is. And then leopard gecko eggs, leopard gecko, leopard gecko, leopard gecko. African fat tail, leopard gecko. Okay, nothing. But let me show you some of the babies anyway. 
Um, oh, also the tortoises are outside. The tortoises usually live in here. It's not outfitted because I took everything apart. Um, and if anyone in Southern Ontario wants to buy an enclosure, the melamine enclosure, I have one. Oh, right. Forgot. I bought already a stool. So anyway, there's a enclosure there. There is glass for it. But uh, anyway, Georgia Attic, $10. Thank you so much. And uh, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, okay. I'm behind on this stuff. I'll get to the Super Chats when I get back in the other room there. Okay. So let's look. I need a hook because these berms are wild. And if you hate this, I'll just go back to the other room. It's fine. So here we go. This is Apple. Okay. There she is. So these enclosures are obviously way too small for these berms. Um, I ordered bigger enclosures or bigger bins that go in the same rack. But also these berms, seven of them are for sale. So contact me if you're in Southern Ontario. If you're in the U.S., do not contact me about berms. I can't ship them over the border. It's completely illegal. I'm not going to do that. Um, what do we got here? Bert. Okay, ready? There we go. So those are the uh, – I got to fill your water again. So that's a hypo. So there's a hypo. What's this one? Timmy. And that's the normal one. So see how much bigger the normal one is than the other ones? Now, obviously, Timmy is – I actually have a buyer for Timmy. But, um, yeah. Oh, sorry. There's an African fat tail there. But, uh, anyway, so what about leopard geckos? So those are the berms. Well, here, I'll show you one more because I am keeping one. Where is she? Uh, Timmy Carmelian. So this is the one that I'm going to keep. So I'm going to upgrade her enclosure next week because I'm keeping her, and there's no reason to keep her in something this small. But, anyway, there's Carmelian. So that's a pearl. So hypo was what I showed you earlier. They're a little bit lighter. And then I showed you Timmy, which is a normal. And then um, there's the uh, albinos and then hypo albinos. So yeah. Sorry, I'm just getting a bunch of messages too. Where are we got here? Oh, so cute. That's the gecko, not me. Oh, here, hold on. Yeah. What's this one? Was this one just born? No, that was 0530. Oh, wow. That one's only a few weeks old. Here, let's show you the one that hatched like two days ago. 530. There's one that hatched like this week. Where is it? 0606. Oh, so cute. Look at him. That's the one that screams. Scream. Okay. Maybe I won't taunt them. But anyway, so there's a bunch of geckos, uh, baby geckos. Uh, can you make money breeding crested geckos? I'm going to read all these in a sec because I have like the tablet over there. Is there anything else you want to see before I – oh, I want to see the uh... – I don't know why I'm using the hook anymore. Look at him. Oh, just look at him. Look how cute he is. I love the knobtail gecko, and he's getting so big now. I'll tell you what. I'm very lucky. I can come back here in a sec if you want. But I'm going to go back in the other room for now because I don't want to miss like the super chats and stuff. Also, those uh, collapsible stools for like 25 bucks on Amazon, totally worth it. I think it's great. We'll be back. I can even show you retex later if you guys want, but I have five of them now. I don't know if I told you that before. I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. All right. More professionalism, Adam. Put it in the thing. Sit down. Shut up. Okay. And we're back. Oh, do you want me to take out a different animal? I can do that. Okay. What did I miss for Super Chats? Let's... Young Smoke Pool, 333 Amazon Mount, all of 64 ounces of dill pickle juice. Okay, buddy. I'll be ordering that after this show. Uh, Georgia Altic, thank you so much for the $10. Appreciate you, Georgia. You're the best. Okay, let's do a little fixie. And is that it? Did I know who I missed? Yeah, okay. I will definitely be buying uh, pickle juice after the stream. Because I'll tell you what, I could drink tons of that stuff. It is a lot of uh, sodium. If you don't know, sodium is not actually bad for you as long as you're drinking water. So don't worry about the sodium. Where are we at? $99. Okay, I don't think I'm getting a nipple piercing today. But that's fine. I appreciate you guys anyway. And it's the <laughs> quality of the stream, not the quantity of uh, the cash coming in. So these are just fun to do. And uh, I like to interact with you like this. And if you want to interact one-on-one, -on -one, then there's Patreon also. And we're doing like one-on-one -on -one, uh, interactions. I did a couple last week. They're really fun. 
Everything in moderation, including moderation. Okay, mom. <sighs> Out of breath from walking across the hall. How much do your uh, nuts and geckos cost here? Like 500 bucks, something like that. If you know Levi's or Levy or whatever. Um, just left the gym, getting healthy. Good for you. Good for you. What are they? Any new tats planned? Okay, so yes. So the guy who does, oh, frick. There's like so many fruit flies in this. It's sugar-free. It's not even good. I'll make this quick. I know not everyone cares. I do get, I'm just going to email you. Yeah, fine. Anytime. Email me anytime. I do get a lot of requests. Hey, do a tattoo tour. I'm obviously not going to do a video like that because no one's going to watch it. Um, oh, Aaron McNeely, $50. Aaron, thank you so much. This is how I know that you, like, so everyone obviously who sends money is a supporter. You guys are freaking awesome. This person didn't have a question, didn't tell me anything, didn't insult me, didn't ask for advice or a shout out. But Aaron McNeely, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You are freaking awesome. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I get a bunch of comments every week. Oh, do a tattoo tour. I personally think those are kind of lame. Like, I did watch Peter McKinnon's, but also I'm a Peter McKinnon fanboy. I just know most people aren't going to care, so I'm not going to do a full video. But maybe, I don't know, if there's, like, enough requests here, I could do it, like, very quickly here. We did do a thing where I took my shirt off for 1000 bucks a few or a month ago. I did one there. So, anyway, Aaron McNeely, you're the best. Appreciate you. How much hair could you grow if you don't shave? This is funny and a valid question. So when I was 25, I used to work at a flower wholesaler, okay, flower and plant wholesaler. So I've had this love uh, for plants for a long time, okay? And uh, there was a guy who sat behind me, Corey, and he taught me how to speak French. So I, I uh, you want how much my electrical bill is? Sit down. I'll tell you in a sec. And he used to, we used to make fun of each other. I learned French by saying mom jokes back and forth with Corey, right? Well, there's a problem with the server, great. Anyway, so he said to me, like, a few haircuts in a row, I used to, like, just shave my own hat or get my girlfriend at the time to, uh, like, buzzers, like, not Bic, right? So it would be, like, a number three, okay? And he would say to me, like, every time, like, oh, bro, your, your hair's getting thin, your hair's getting thin, your hair's getting thin. And uh, he was right. And I think there's nothing more pathetic in this world than a man who is going bald and can't admit that he's going bald. It just looks so bad. If you're, like, doing the comb over – or you're like, just shave it, bro. It just looks, it, it's going to look better no matter what. Um, if you're trying to keep your hair and you can't, and you don't have any more, like it just looks bad and sad. So don't do that. So I didn't want to be one of those guys. So I just decided to, my girlfriend at the time, she's like, oh, let's just do it with no guard. And then I picked it. I'm like, that's it. And I just been bald ever since. And that was like 2017. So anyway, the, I have a big bald spot, like right here, basically. And there's one starting back here too. So. I'm 32, by the way. So it happens quick. Seven years it's been. Holy cow. Grow your beard out. Do a yard. I don't know what a yard is. Uh, I think bald men are sexy. Alberta and Stella. Oh, that's two women. That's good. Most of the, um, yeah, most of the people who comment that are dudes. Jeremy Hung. <laughs> Sick name. Uh, you related to William? Five dollars. Hey, Wicked. Any tips on lost snake? I bought. Oh, I bought a. I brought a snake home yesterday and put it, put him in the enclosure, and now he's gone, and it slowly has no cracks. Yeah. Well, there's something that he got out of. Uh, yeah. So check your. Make sure your room is closed off. Make sure there's a warm spot in the room. Uh, check blankets. Check corners. Check shelves. Check under things. And then if all else fails, see if you can try to put a trap with like a mouse or a rat. Depends. I don't know what kind of snake it is, but I would just, you know, continue to do that. So Stella is my service dog. Sick. Uh, oh, I got a new dog yesterday. It's a foster dog. Okay. Foster dog. Anyway, uh, her name was uh, Chloe, but I had a Chloe a while ago. Uh, an ex-girlfriend thing, and then we, we broke up, and she no, I no longer have that animal. And uh, so I don't want her name to be Chloe, and she doesn't know her name because she came from, like, a hoarder house. So then we decided that we're going to name her Chicken. That's I think that's what I'm going to name her is Chicken. Uh, also, Nellie is a good one because she's a nervous Nellie. But anyway, I posted pictures of her on Instagram if you want to see. Ashes, amphibians, and reptiles, thirteen ninety nine Canadian. Thank you so much. Yo, Adam, we need to see kill-bellied lizards. 
Love the content and diamond video was wicked. If you come to a video, I'll drink a jar of pickle juice. My man, I love uh, Ashes Amphibians. Like, so funny, such a cool kid. Never asks for a shout out. Like, I get so many mad. Oh, can I give a can I get a shout out? Like, this guy just hustles and grinds and makes funny videos and good videos, and I love that. I love that a lot. So, uh, Kill Bill Losers are upstairs, so maybe at the end, but I'll post some on Instagram if not. And uh, anyway, I can't wait to meet you, Asher. I assume your first name is Asher. Uh, okay, cool story, bruh. $5. I got my second ball python, a Batman morph named Bruce Wayne. Uh, Bruce, anyway, just the Connor Price. Anyway, and my first lychee, a Pine Island named Yoshi. Oh, and a nipple piercing, just do it. Well, I already have one, right? You guys saw that a month ago when I took my shirt off for $1,000 or whatever ridiculous thing we did. Uh, but I will get the other one done for 2000 So if, even if it's not, this is a standing thing, even if it asks me next month. Oh, it's $5. Pops, spicy, pickle, dill pickle coming your direction. I have a P.O. box. It's always open for pickles. Appreciate you, Oz. Thank you for the $5. Reptiverse. one ninety nine. Ever chased a shot of whiskey with pickle juice? I don't need to chase shots of whiskey. Uh, ah, there's a joke there, but I can't really make it, especially not in June. No. I have no, Well, yes, technically, because picklebacks and yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't need to chase whiskey because i am a grown-up but yeah pickle juice is delicious i owe you so many swigs of this by now do you guys like the pickle reels are they stupid anyway young smoke pole ten dollars adam you can get one species of iguana what do you get and why and do you sterilize leaf litter before adding to trams and if so how so young smoke pole thank you for the ten dollars appreciate you um Oh, I'm conflicted now because I was going to bring out the iguana, but then someone's like, yo, bring out Pikachu. I'll do both. I'll bring out Pikachu in a sec. Remind me. So first of all, River Vanderlight, the guy, for sure this person is uh, very tall and rides a bicycle. Thank you for $3. I'll bring out Pikachu in a sec. But first, I'm going to bring out the iguana that I would definitely bring out. And I'll tell you as I walk over there what I do with leaf litter. So with leaf litter, there's a few options. In my personal opinion, I don't think that it's necessary to sterilize it because I keep reptiles outside. So what's the difference anyway? They're in amongst the leaf litter. So who really cares is my opinion. But if you really wanted to sterilize leaf litter, I don't think there's anything wrong with being safe rather than sorry. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. You guys can guess what this is as I talk about leaf litter. But if you do it, what you can do, what I do, what I've done in the past, is I collect the leaf litter, I boil it in a pot, and then if you do it during a warm month or a sunny day, you can stick it outside on a tarp or a blanket, and you can let the sun dry it. If not, just leave it outside on your counter. That works too. Um, spam. Or you, I don't recommend baking it, but you could do like a heat gun or something like that. So that's how I do it. Anyway, this is a Fiji banded iguana. Americans, I am so freaking sorry that you can never have one. Uh, and whenever I move to the U.S., which is still a thing, I know I'll get that question. I can't take him either. But anyway, this is Frankie. I freaking love this animal. It brings a tear to my eye every time. One ninety nine, Sean Roussel. What's a Batman morph? Well, how do I explain it? Like it'd be easy. Like you paid one ninety nine for me to tell you to Google it. I appreciate your 199. Thank you so much, Sean Roussel. And if all you wanted was a shout out, Sean Roussel, there you go, you got it. But um, I don't have the capability of to show you one because I don't own one. So, yeah. <sighs> Love being in Canada. You do? Well, that makes one of us. What are the U.S. What? Where at in the U.S. are you moving to? Well, the plan's always been Texas or somewhere in the south. So, oh no, all the reptile stuff is about to turn off, right? Oh no, it's not because Google sucks and uh, Google updated it. Now I have to turn all the stuff manually and I have to redo the whole thing. Automation is great until Google decides that you have to redo everything. I digress. Anyway, this is a Fiji banded iguana. If there is one iguana species in the world I could keep, it is this one. I do think that rock and rhino iguanas are like cycluras are freaking amazing, but at the end of the day, there is nothing more beautiful and fun to handle and cool and calm and collected as he's about to go crazy right now as a Fiji banded iguana. The unfortunality, is that a word? The unfortunateness 
unfortunation is that unfortunation is that you can't keep these in the U.S. But this is Frankie. He's beautiful. I love this animal. He needs his claws trimmed. So uh, I'll do that. I need to write a note to myself to do that on Friday. Um, I think I told you guys this before, but I hired a zookeeper. What a life changer. It was actually Dion who suggested this to me because uh, he's got someone who takes care of stuff when he's gone. And I didn't really have someone dedicated to do that. So now I do. And she takes care of stuff twice a week. Aria, fantastic. Could not be happier. The best thing I ever did was hiring Aria to take care of my reptiles. Like so much better. How much money gained so far? 100 and, excuse me, 163.96. So we got a ways to go, but I mean, oh, by the way, I don't do these streams to make money. This is to interact with you guys. This is fun. I really do like talking to you guys. That's what this is for. Um, so yeah, and all the money goes back to the reptiles anyway. My rat bill for this month was $786. $786 for rats. Never mind crickets and stuff like that. That's probably another 400 bucks. So it's like 1200 bucks a month to feed this collection, if you're wondering, which is wild. I should do an updated version of how much it costs to feed my reptiles because I haven't done one in a while and it, that old one would not be accurate anymore. I've got a lot of stuff. Holy shite, expensive babies. Yeah, you can let that one go, mods. I appreciate it. Who's even modding this? Is Tick here? I guess I can just do it. No, I can't because I'm not logged in. Stupid. No rat farm. No, I don't have time to care for rats. And honestly, the amount of snakes that you need to have to make it worth it to breed your own rats, yeah, yeah. It just, yeah. I, because time is money. And like, I know everyone says, oh, time is money, but eventually you realize it's true. It's not just like something that rich people say to, like, I'm not rich, by the way. It's something that, it's not something that rich people say to, be like, oh, my time is worth, like, for real, time is worth money, and I don't have the time to breed rats. I just don't. It's smelly, it's stinky, it's bad for your lungs, it takes a lot of space, a lot of time, and it's just not worth it for me. I'd rather pay someone else to do it. So, anyway, uh, Young Smoke Pole, $10. Love Frankie, my dream of one. Also, my boy, our leaf litter be... Oh, we boil... Bro, I'm so sorry. We boil our leaf litter because boiled leaf litter makes the best tannin rich tea for dendrobated tadpoles yeah so all of my dendrobates iapoc that fadi at daffy's reptiles gave me in october finally have morphed out so the last one morphed out this week so now i've got four uh iapoc babies what else do i have for dart frogs here i'm gonna put him back because he seems a little stressy for some reason but he's doing like weird head bob stuff there you go come on go on but no one can tell me that. So I always wondered, because I know that my buddy, Mike Taitula, has Fiji Bandits. And I always wondered, like, what's the deal with Fiji? Like, I just didn't get it because they're expensive, right? They're three grand a piece or 2500 or whatever. I got a deal. But now I get it. Of all the reptiles that I have, that's the one probably that I'm most proud of. And one of my favorites for sure. I could probably bring one of the Schneider Skinks out. I got to bring Pikachu out too. Uh, yeah. Uh, or if Pikachu, oh, Pikachu might be locked up right now. Here, just give me a sec to get through these. Oh, there is a snake up there. So in this room, one of the cool things about having the zookeeper is sometimes there's a surprise. So sometimes I walk in this room and I don't really know what's going on. Because at first when I hired Aria, it, every week she would come and I'd be down here the entire time with her and kind of like a training thing. Um, electric bill, I'll get to that in one sec. But now Aria shows up, I let her in, she does her own thing for three or four hours, and then I, you know, frig off upstairs to do editing and admin work. So I come back down here and sometimes the room looks not completely different. But so for example, I looked up here and this used to be uh, crested gecko or leopard geckos up here. And then leopard geckos are all in the other room now. And uh, it's a ball python. So I'm like, what the heck is that? It's a big leopard gecko. So anyway, it's not like she doesn't tell me. It's just, uh, yeah, she just does her own thing. Uh, Pinex Jex. Pinex Gex? You should absolutely drop the food bill so my boyfriend doesn't think 150, 175 is a month isn't much. So tell your boyfriend, clip this at uh, 44 minutes and 25 seconds. My food bill for my reptiles every month is probably 1200 bucks or more. My electric bill, I'll get to in a sec. Marla Blaney, 499. Would you ever consider getting a banana pictinata iguana? Just curious. They sound. So, um, 
I don't really know much about them, to be honest. I know what that is. I can picture it in my head. I don't know enough about them to be like, yeah, I would definitely get one or no. We're almost at 298 people. We're almost at 300 people on a Wednesday night. Oh, hype, hype, hype. Okay. So my electric bill is 450 bucks a month. 450 bucks a month. It is not cheap to do what I do. There is overhead. So uh, people always say it all the time, like not all the time and not all people, but um, I've heard several times you sit in front of a camera, relaxing, you're cozy, and then you just cash checks. No, way more than 50% of my income, my gross income is not net. Most of it is overhead, right? I have employees and I have food bills and electricity and all the rest of it. So think about it. When I first moved out of my parents' house, this is 10 years ago, my rent and bills total for that house were like 1500 bucks, okay? 1500. Just for hydro, electricity, right? We call it electricity hydro because Niagara Falls hydro water, right? So our hydro bill uh, and food bill is like almost $2,000 a month, okay? So it's almost $2,000, right? Uh, yeah, it's freaking wild. And then in the summer, our hydro bill goes way up because we have a pool, we have a hot tub now, well, an inflatable hot tub. I'm not ready. And we got it for free. Right. But yeah, it's plus air conditioning. It's wild. It's yeah, it's a lot of overhead. So anyway, anything that you can contribute, I appreciate. I give you free content. And if you throw me a couple bucks, even if it's one ninety nine, I don't care. I shout you out and I appreciate you. But, uh, Anyway, Adam, how's life? Can't complain. Honestly, things are pretty good up here. Uh, dogs are healthy. Family's healthy. That's all that really matters. Um, you know, anything else is uh, everyone. There's always these complaints, you know, like I actually saw a hilarious thing today and it's a falcon and it's just sitting there and he gets his foot sprayed and it screams like this scream. And the captain is anytime anyone can inconveniences me just even a little bit, I laugh so hard. But at the end of the day, um, you know, people are going to complain about whatever, but uh, I'm healthy aside from the asthma stuff with the fires and stuff going on, but, uh, yeah, life's good. It's fine. Bleached underscore Barry, $1. Thank you so much. Bleached underscore Barry. See, even for a dollar, you guys get a shut up, you know, and I drink pickle juice every 20 bucks. So how close are we? Another eight bucks and I got to drink more pickle juice. I spent $2,000 uh, $2, just on rent. Yeah. My mortgage is more than two grand, but my point is, um, oh yeah, we're giving away, let's give away a shirt right now, actually. But yeah, the overhead for this business, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't want to put a number on it, but it's like, it's wild. It's crazy. Like the amount of money that I spend just to keep this going is a lot. Plus the editor plus. Yeah. Anyway, it's a lot, but I'm not complaining just as like, if you, you know, think I'm just cash and checks here, it's not the case. Uh, okay. Let's give away a shirt. Let's give away a shirt. So hashtag shirt right now, hashtag shirt, put it in there. Uh, if you send a super chat, then you get an extra five ballots. How about that? Right? Hashtag shirt. And I'll pick a random winner in two minutes. How about that? In the meantime, oh, also, how about that? WWR. There you go. Yeah. Uh, oh, sick. My expo winner actually just emailed me. The best thing I bought. So I got um, some tumbler glasses too, which I actually like better than these, but it's just fit better. In just terms of the size of the glass, not the actual gift. But these were given to me at the Ottawa uh, Expo. Yeah, so pretty cool. Before I even bought anything from them, I bought two African fat tails and a uh, hog nose from them. Okay. Man, you guys are wild. I love this because there's way more of you looking for shirts than. Uh, tickets okay ready three two one just randomly gonna scroll randomly gonna scroll katie osborne photography katie osborne photography uh shoot me an email at wiccans wicked reptiles shirt and mortgage payment you guys are hilarious uh katie osborne photography wiccans wicked reptiles at gmail.com wiccans wicked reptiles at gmail.com katie osborne photography you win send me Color, design, shirt size. Has to be a t-shirt, not a hoodie, okay? Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to give away tickets again in 10 minutes. How about that? Also, if you guys send me another $6, I'll drink uh, pickle juice. How about that? Congratulations, Katie. 
Yes, indeed. Shirts. Sab, you don't have to. Sab, you can just. I'll just give you one. We're friends. Uh, anyway, Young Smoke Pole, 750. I need a new shirt. Steph got reptile poop all over it from Gile, 750. Well, Adrian, you've given me enough uh, pickle juice and such. Just shoot me a text message and I'll send you a shirt. How about that? Okay. Uh, tattoo tour. Okay, we'll do this very quickly because I think this is going to be boring. So don't leave. I'll do this as quick as possible. And if you think this is lame, hashtag lame. I don't know. Anyway, so we'll just do this very quickly. I'm not going to do the ones on my legs because they're really far away. Or maybe I will at the very end. But uh, anyway, so. <laughs> See, I feel like a douchebag already. Anyway, chest stuff. Eagle. Hawk. Monkey. Right? The eagle is eating a monkey. It's a harpy eagle eating a monkey. Carrie Kennedy, $22 Canadian. Thank you so much. I owe you pickle juice. Thank you so much, Terry Kennedy. No one did hashtag lame yet. Beer, not beer. It's Pepsi. Jacob Hatch, $1. Thank you so much. Other side, so this is Central America, South America, right? Squirrel monkey getting eaten by harpy eagle. Harpy eagles have the biggest talons of any eagle. Second biggest eagle in the world after the Philippines eagle. Red tail hawk. Uh, red fox. Red foxes are my favorite animal in the world. This is a red hawk trying to get one. But in realistically, the red, ho- red hawks don't eat boxes it just looked cool and i wanted those things so that's what i got and then all this blue is crap so we're gonna make it all look like this and it's just gonna go all the way around like this and then yeah but not the throat i don't think so we'll see yeah so that's the chest we'll continue on in a moment but i feel like this is i feel like a douchebag just like anyway cool story bro 99 cents thank you so much uh cool story bro oh the drooling face that's good uh, I missed the beginning of the stream. Tickets of what story I should know. Okay, so we gave away some tickets for the expo. We're going to give away some more. We gave away a shirt to Katie Osborne Photography. Okay. Uh, Adrian, also, I, you, I, you sent me a text message. I know this is a weird, but anyway, text, send me your address too. I know it's on Patreon, but just text it to me. Easier. Okay. Just had my second Crested Gecko born today. That's really cool. Uh, so it was funny. I was doing one of these one-on-ones for Patreon. So if you go to the $50, $100 tier on Patreon, once a month, I do a half hour, 100, 302 people. We broke 300 people. Thank you guys so much. If you go to the two top tiers of Patreon, I do a one-on-one. We do a Zoom meeting. It's one-on-one. We talk for an hour or 30 minutes up to you. Like, you know, uh, what tier? And then there was the Chuhua Gecko. And as I was doing with one of the patrons, the Chuhua Gecko was forcing a uh, very beautiful egg out of her hoo-ha. Let me show you the, the eggs real quick because we're talking about babies and stuff, right? So, and then I might as well show you more tattoos after that if you guys still want to see that. Okay. So we got Chihuahua eggs in here and Crested Gecko eggs. So the Crested Geckos I actually keep, hi, we, I actually keep the Crested Geckos um, together. So they lay eggs and generally they just hatch on the substrate. But Aria had to dig some out. So there's four, but I don't know when they were laid because I just kind of, but we dig, we dug them out on 0516. So that was a Tuesday. And then Chihuahua eggs. So there's three of them. And it's crazy. You can see, like, that one is so much bigger than that one. That one was the one that got laid last week. That one got laid 0308. And the crazy thing with, with Chihuahua eggs is they take sometimes six months to hatch. So these Chihuahua eggs uh, that were laid in um, March, 03, March, will be born in, uh, sorry, August. I'm kind of all over the place here. Okay, tattoo tour continued. There's been actually a few more since the last time. George Carlin, okay? If you don't know who that is, you should Google stuff. Rogan, okay, I don't know if I can show. Right, that was just a one, that was like, there's a story behind that one. Okay, this is annoying. Hold on, if we do it like this. Hold on, we'll read the thing. Uh, Brian S., we'll see you on June 25th. I hope I am not sure what reptile I want to get next. If I decide to come to see something, sell, would love to get one from you. Okay, come see me. Mac Miller on that one. Okay, that one's probably my favorite tattoo that I have. That one's pretty sick. And then Corey Taylor on the back. There you go. There's your leg tattoo tour. And that'll be a sleeve that goes all the way down to the bottom of the leg. If uh, 
Caesar ever has time to do it because he's busy and he travels a lot now. Okay. Persona Inc. in Mississauga, Ontario. Who does all those? Uh, yeah. And then I have, is that the one? Yeah, I have a, I don't know if you're from Southern Ontario. Carlin at Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall is a good one. Yeah. So George Carlin, of all the people in the world that have shaped my life in terms of celebrities, Steve Irwin and George Carlin. Those are the ones. Because if you asked me when I was a kid, what do you want to do for a living? I would have told you that I wanted to be a stand-up comedian and I wanted to be an animal presenter on the TV. Now, on both of those things, this isn't television, but it's the internet. It's the same thing. So I'm really living my dream. I chase my dream and I'm living it. And by no means am I, you know, making millions of dollars a year or anything like that. But I am making a comfortable living doing what I love. So I would always recommend if you're a kid out there and you suck at school or whatever, I mean... I'm not saying don't go to school. You should definitely go to school. It's always better to have something behind you. But at the end of the day, even if you're not the best student, it doesn't mean that you're a failure. I was a terrible student and now I'm doing this. So so maybe I am a failure according to your parents. But either way, uh, Jacob Hatch, 227, buy a sun gazer. And I met Corey Taylor at NotFest. That's so cool. Oh, just the missing system. Uh, Yeah, Corey Taylor has been a hero of mine since I was like a child. So. When I was getting that tattoo, even though I never see it, and it's funny because that that mask is from 2014, so I was 23. So yeah, like I sort of listened to Slipknot when I was like 11 or 12. But anyway, yeah, Corey Taylor is like one of the biggest inspirations. Uh, anyway, oh Pikachu, okay, I'll bring up Pikachu. I'm gonna get a hook though because yesterday was was food day, so I'm just gonna be careful. Oh, of course. Anyway, so there's missing systems in all of these PVCs now, which is great, unless you're trying to get... Oh, might as well do the rest of the tattoo tour. I'll wait for it to... Okay, ready? Dender Betty's Lucamella. Uh, uh, Crocodile Skink. Okay, that one's a pretty sick one, actually. And then... Um, Boega. Uh, I don't... Cat Eye Snake. Mangrove Snake. And uh, red-eyed tree frog. So it's funny. So this reference photo is the same uh, photo that I use in a lot of the thumbnails. Anyway. Oh, there's a shed in here. If you're a patron and you want this shed, message me on Patreon and I'll send it to you. All right. Come to me. And you will see. Oh, you're in shed too. Wonderful. So anyway, I'm just careful with snakes when they're in shed. Not that a ball python bite would be the end of the world. Sometimes they're just a little bit more timid and I'm just being respectful. Uh, Momed99. I'm a patron subscriber and I have a red fox tattoo my daughter drew and had it done on my arm. Hey, that's awesome. That's so cool. So I don't have kids, but having kids is something I would like to do. And I think it'd be very fulfilling if you had your daughter draw something and then you had it tattooed on you. That's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, uh, red foxes are my favorite animal. They're small but cunning, and uh, they can uh, get what they want despite their small size and being predators. Yeah. Even though, even if I'm from Sweden in Europe, yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, I'll send it. I can't promise customs will let it through. I don't see why they wouldn't, but yeah. What is your favorite Slipknot? Uh, the heart's in the way. Album or song? Song? Mm. Let me think about it. Rich Buddy, $3. Do you think a chameleon would munch a dart frog? Yes, absolutely. Do not put dart frogs with chameleons. They will eat them. Unless we're talking about a small chameleon. Like we're talking about Brachesia, that'd be different. But otherwise, yeah. Like a uh, panther chameleon or a veiled chameleon would probably munch a dart frog. Don't do that. Sean Savage, are you planning on to move to the U.S.? I'd love to meet you. Pick your brain about reptiles. So here's the thing about moving to the U.S. Oh, when you move to the U.S., come like – I'm going to be in the U.S. a bunch of times before I move there, right? So you can meet me and I'll go to expos before that. Yes, the plan is still to move to the U.S. As a Canadian, you need a work visa. It's very difficult, very expensive. I'm two years in the process. I'm coming. It's just it. my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do. Okay, favorite Slipknot song? Probably Wait and Bleed because that's the song that got me hooked on Slipknot as a kid to start with. Um And to this day, I really do think that Slipknot is probably the best album they ever put out. Iowa was really good. And the Grey Chapter, in my opinion, was much better than most people say. 
Um, their last album, I don't even know what it's called. I listened to it once on my way to Ottawa. It was, I hate to say it because that's my favorite band of all time, but it was trash. It was a terrible album. Maybe I'll listen to it again later. Maybe I was wrong. I was in heavy traffic and pissed off that day. Uh, but yeah, Wait and Bleed, um, Before I Forget was a good one. Yeah, there's a bunch of one. Anyway, so uh, Purity, highly underrated. K, Eyeless. K, let's move on. Do you sell Crested Geckos? Yes. I actually have three for sale if you're in – so I, I'm only it's only going to be local pickups. So if you're in the Niagara region or like an hour or two away, I'll sell to you, but I'm not shipping them. Like they're worth – I think I'm selling them for like 60 bucks. So anyway, what's your favorite reptile? Ugh. Garials. Garials are my favorite reptile, but I can't keep them. Yeah, Craig from Slipknot. Craig left Slipknot. Craig. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think he left, but yeah. Uh, okay. Um, this is my first live stream. You're moving to the U.S. Did you know that Rep Expo in Rochester last weekend? No, I did not go to that expo last weekend, but oh, look how cute he is. Um, hey, thanks for showing up for your first uh, for your first live stream. Appreciate it. Do you sell hog noses? Yes, I've got forty eggs in the incubator. Don't message me yet, please. There is no wait list. There's no wait list. I will sell them, but it's just not going to be right now. So, uh, what do you think of electric blue day geckos? I think they're freaking awesome. Williams Eye are the best. And my good friend Alec Brown, DVM, or DVM affectionately known, if you watched any of the Madagascar videos from any of my friends. He breeds them and he does a great job and uh, I had one, but it passed away and I'm not getting any more because if I get an animal and it doesn't do well or it dies, this only really happened twice. Uh, Electric Blue Day Gecko just died out of nowhere. And then the other one was uh, Malayan Horde Frogs and they both died within two months of each other. So I'm not going to get any more because, I mean, obviously I don't know what I'm doing. I did something wrong. Like animals don't just die like that most of the time. So, I mean, it's possible, but do you ship hog snakes? Yes, I ship hog snakes. I will definitely be shipping hog those things because those are actually worth something. That's the thing too, is like I'll ship hog, I'll ship things that cost, you know, hundred bucks plus, but things that are 40 bucks, you're going to pay 125 bucks for shipping. And then what's the point, you know, you're paying more for shipping than the animal, but hog no snakes, they're going to be like, you know, between 150 or 350 to 700 bucks, depending on the morph. Casey Silva. Hi, Casey. hundred bucks. Drink up. I got to go. 1 a, 4 a.m. comes way too soon. You rock. I'll keep you posted on the new hog nose. Um, so, Casey, thank you so much for the $100. Appreciate you. Kind of seems like you come through every time, even though you don't need to. You've been far too generous as it is. And you're a $100 Patreon supporter. So, I'll send you the Calendly link so we can have a talk later this uh, month. Yeah, Casey Silva, thank you so much. You are awesome. And I appreciate you a lot. So. All right. Do I ship to the U.S.? No. Sorry. Not right now. I guess I can look into how to ship hognos, but I have to ship a bunch of them. I got to talk to Mike Titula. I know he does. I just don't know anything about it. But, yeah. For those of you who are new here, Casey does that, just casually shows up. Hey, I got to go. <laughs> but here's 100 bucks for your troubles. So, anyway, and then Canadian, that's like 132 bucks. So, thank you very much, Casey. Appreciate you. Um, Linda Wickens. Hi, Mom. You're showing up. Appreciate you. Look at the tail. Ooh. Uh, ticket shipper. I don't know what that means. But there is a new way. Oh, I haven't even I haven't talked about this, and I'm not allowed to talk about it. But I will say that there is going to be a new way to ship from the U.S. to Canada, Canada to the U.S. within Canada coming up soon. And I'm going to tell you all about it in a few weeks. I'm really excited about it. So some of you might know already. But anyway, I have this really exciting thing that's happening in a couple weeks. So, uh, ticket flick. I don't know what that means. What are your thoughts on lychees? Eh. I'd rather have cressies and gargoyles. And I mean, Sarahs are actually even better. But lychees are cool. But they growl at you and they bite you, and the bites suck. So, yeah, they're fine. Yeah. What are we at? Three hundred and thirty-three bucks. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. You guys are great. Um, did not mean it to sound that passive. You guys are great. Also, uh, hog, maybe hog nose giveaway. Ooh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. 
I just have to figure out how to get them in the U.S. because most of these people are in the U.S. I would imagine. Uh, what are your thoughts on leeches? I just answered that. Message retracted. What did you say? What is the best skink? Schneider skinks, of course, but mine are not out right now, so I can't show you them. Oh, this thing already burnt out? Really? Or did I not? Anyway. Do you sell bearded dragons or ball pythons? I do sell ball pythons. I've got nothing going on this. So ball pythons are like the easiest reptiles in the world to breed. I just have not had a good year. I've had no eggs be laid so far. But uh, yeah. I saw I was from Sweden and it's 2 a.m. right now. Well, hey, thanks for showing up. Appreciate you, Sweden. Are you tall and blonde and beautiful? Do you have any thoughts on African house snakes? Yes, African house snakes are freaking awesome. So African house snakes are interesting because they're not colubrids. They're not pythons. They look and act like pythons. They, or they, sorry, they act like pythons. They look like colubrids. They have python faces. And then when they bite you, it feels weird. Not like more painful, just weird, like tingly. It's like, I don't know. I got bit by a few at uh, Garrett's place. I can't wait to go to Pittsburgh next week, by, or next week, next uh, month, by the way. So I'm going to Retic Fest. So if you're not already following uh, Reach Out Reptiles, then you're a silly goose. You should definitely follow Reach Out Reptiles. The best Retic content in the world. Um, but they have uh, something called Retic Fest. If you're part of the Patreon, then you get invited and you can go. I'm really excited. I had a great time last year. And that's about a month and a half away. So I'll be going and looking at house snakes and stuff like that. And hopefully I'll make a video about it. But overall, I love the city of Pittsburgh. And I'm excited to go back next month. What would you say is the worst starter snake? The worst starter? Oh, African rock pythons? Cobras? Black mambas? Stuff like that. Subject 170 and co. One dollar. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about this new direction thing uh, and new species. So new. So I'm, I have to build, I'm going to have to hurry it up because I, I promised them I'd do a release in June. It's going to be July probably, but. Zoomed, who is not sponsoring this in any way, shape, or form, has never given me a dollar, gave me um, a 36 by 36 by 18, okay? I want to make it a paludarium. I want to make it fully planted. I want to put a water feature in it. I want it to be awesome. I want you to tell me what I should put in it. Uh, my idea was a multi-species collab, and what I was going to do is dart frogs and red-eyed tree frogs. I also could do maybe a boa. I could do a boa and dart frogs. I mean, but a hog island boa, by the way. So a small boa. But I would like for you guys to tell me, you know, how much are your shirts? Yeah, I honestly don't know off the top of my head. But there's a link in the description to go buy one. And there's a shelf right here. Um, Teespring.com slash Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles. I think they're like 22 bucks. Yeah. Uh, King Snakes are easy, but they have a high food response. So look at Dr. Plants. I love Dr. Plants, by the way. We've only talked a few times, but I do love that guy's channel. Starry reef frogs. So I found some starry reef frogs in Madagascar, actually. So, or I found one. It was pretty cool. We found these Parsons chameleons, the um, yellow lips, the giant ones, the biggest ones in the world. And then we found the um, starry reef frogs literally, I don't know, 300 meters away, like in a tree in the middle of a field. Crazy. And then it started to rain and we had to run. And then we had to sit in the bus, which was hot. And Mike farted. And uh, it was rough. Okay. I'm going to be expanding to any different hognose morphs? Nah, probably not. Not right now, anyway. Why do, why don't collectors collect coral snakes? Coral snakes are really difficult to keep in captivity. Like, really difficult. That's why. Croc skinks. So I would love croc skinks. Yes. I want croc skinks. I asked somebody about them. I was supposed to get a bunch of them. He's never... I don't know if he didn't get them in or what, but... Anyway, I haven't heard anything back. Subject, 170 and co, $1. Thank you, my friend. Uh, I did not know how to send a super chat. <laughs> uh, oh, because you have to, I think it's like 229 You have to pay at least 229 for ticket text or something. But anyway, I'll read your thing anyway. I want to say uh, that you inspired me and my channel I'll keep going. Also, I'm broke, but I watch. Hey, thank you so much. If you're telling me you're broke and you give me, you give me two bucks so far, I still appreciate you. You're awesome. Thank you. Um, do you have insurance for your pets? The dogs have insurance. The animals don't. So, or the reptiles don't. Hmm. Time is up. Okay. Been dying to get uh, some of them croc skinks in Manitoba. Yeah. Croc skinks are like few and far between. 
so Dion has this croc skink sensor in his brain. So Dion, as soon as a croc skink goes up on Kijiji or any sales site, uh, Dion gets a tingling in his stomach and nether, re nether regions, I assume too. And he immediately buys them before anyone even knows they exist. So all the croc sinks that are ever for sale in Canada all go to Dion, I'm pretty sure. Casey Silva, stop being so nice to me. $50, maybe some Firebelly Toads. Leechies are beautiful. I love mine, but she is growling cranky pants. I know. Firebelly Toads would be cool with something else. Huh. Anyway, Casey, thank you for the $150 now. You're way too kind. Appreciate you. Casey Silva coming through with almost 50% of the Super Chats for today. Thank you, and I appreciate you, and Casey Silva is the best. Why don't you start a channel? I would just, like, pump you, pump your channel like crazy. So, anyway. Um, when you when will you be in Florida again? September. I'll be there September for Animal Con. I'm a truck driver on the road right now in Ohio. Glad I was able to catch your live stream. Hey, thank you so much. Don't watch live streams and drive or whatever they say. Yeah. Popularized butterfly gomas. There's a lady that I'm friends with who has them and wants me to popularize them as well. But butterfly gomas are pretty cool and very underrated. Almost as underrated as Schneider's cakes. Um, do a channel on weightlifting. Really? No. That's, no. No. I am not in shape enough to do that. Oh, there's another fly in here? That's what four dogs upstairs sounds like. Uh, yeah, I did a channel briefly on bodybuilding and uh, very competitive. And you have to be in the top echelon in order to be successful. And by top echelon, I mean, I'm not willing to stick needles in my butt uh, to be in the shape necessary to be successful in that field. So see you in September. Can't wait. Yeah. I can tell the dogs apart by their bark, which is anyway. Fluji's going wild. Do you have tarantulas? If not, would you? No. I'm a big scaredy pants. I don't like spiders. I like jumping spiders. That's it. Hey, from Phoenix. What's up? I'd love to go to Phoenix uh, maybe in the winter. That'd be really fun. I, I decided that this year in the summer and fall, I'm going to put in a lot of work and get really ahead on the videos. And then in the winter, I want to spend very little time here because I hate the cold. And it looks like I'm not moving before then. So, uh, yeah. I'm thinking if you of buying Crested Ge Blizzard. What did Blizzard say? Got a Crested Gecko, any advice? Yes, watch my Crested Gecko care guide. That's what I'd recommend. Um, you give away any of the animals, a lovely ball python? Maybe one day, but not today. Okay, so let's give away the rest of the tickets. So there's two more tickets. If you're in Toronto or the Toronto area on September, or sorry, June 25th, June 25th, so in three, two or three, anyway, June 25th, I'll be there. It'll be super fun. I'm going to tell you about what expos are like, by the way, in a second. Um, but comment, hashtag tickets right now. I'll Pick a winner in like two minutes. Young Smoke Pull, $5. Fire Belly Toads and Yellow Spotted Dudes, do it. That's a great idea. Adrian, thank you for the $5. Appreciate you. Hashtag tickets. Um, channel would be better with a tarantula. Yeah. Maybe one day. Okay. Uh, tickets in two. So, yeah. Comment hashtag tickets. I appreciate you. That would be, am I a beginner? I'd love your channel. Any advice from Toronto? Yeah, come to the Toronto Reptile Expo and come say hi to me. So as I wait for you guys to go hashtag tickets, hashtag tickets, I'll tell you, expos now are wild. And I'm not saying this to be braggadocious at all, but I can't move in these things. And I am so thankful and excited. I might get teary-eyed when I talk about this. When I go to expos, I can't do a loop around the thing. There are so many people who have reptiles who want to talk. And that is my favorite thing about these expos. And if you've ever thought, oh, what's it going to be? Like if I go up to Dion or Mike Titula or Critterbox or Annalise or uh, Kayla, I don't want to forget anybody, but any of these people, will they be okay with me talking to them? The answer is yes. We want you to come up and talk to us. We get excited. I want you to take a picture. I want you to post it. I want to repost it. The entire reason I started this in the first place is to show my love for reptiles. So when I go to these reptile expos and I look over and there's a line of 30 people, I, the only anxiety I feel is I don't want you to keep waiting to talk to me. I want to talk to all of you. So these expos now are wild. They're crazy. I never thought in a million years I'd be the guy with a line to talk to me. And uh, I feel like the luckiest guy in the world, these expos. And uh, I want to say thank you truly and honestly from the bottom of my heart for anyone who's ever come to talk to me and spent time uh, 
in a line or whatever to, to say hi. So anyway, no emotions. Bury it down. Okay, I'm going to pick. Okay, ready? Random scroll. Come on, scroll. Winner is Jade Kincaid. Ooh, sick name. It rhymes like you're a rapper. Jade Kincaid, Wiccans Wicked Reptiles at gmail.com. Wiccans Wicked Reptiles at gmail.com. No capitals, no spaces, no underscores. Jade Kincaid, email me for the tickets and I will send them to you. Actually, uh, Daniel or Elizabeth will, but either way, I'll make sure that they do. I'll ask nicely. And I'll tell you what, the expo team is amazing. I, the, I've been going to expos since 2015. Okay. So we're talking about eight years. Uh, Grant is the guy who runs them. Grant is amazing. I have nothing but nice things to say. He run, does an amazing job, super personable. These things must be so stressful to run and he's nice to everybody. Okay. I feel like it's such a privilege to be part of this team. And I will say the team that they have now, including uh, Fadi from Daffy's Reptiles, who is their social media guy, amazing team. We have the best expos in the world, in my opinion, in terms of reptiles. And I'll tell you what, the, the way that the team is curated now and everybody knows everybody and everyone works in unison and cohesively, I feel like such a privilege to be part of the Can, uh, Canada Expo, Can, Canada Pet Expo's team and Canada Reptile Expo or Reptile Expo team. So um, if you ever thought about going to an expo in Toronto, in my opinion, they're the best ones in the world. They're busy, tons of vendors. It's not just ball pythons and geckos. There's so much stuff there. I saw Viper boas the other, anyway. Go to an expo. And Jade Kincaid, email me. Uh, X, excuse me. Hilarious. $2. Thank you so much. Excuse me. You're the best. Kevin O'Neill, $20. You know what that means. Kevin O'Neill, thank you so much. Cheers to you. Thanks for $20. Kevin O'Neill, you are the best. And that means that we are a quarter of the way there if you want to watch me get my nipple pierced. But we're also almost an hour and a half in. So probably not this time, but maybe next time. Um, that's my girlfriend. Congrats on the tickets, babe. <laughs> and Nathan, I guess that means that you're gonna. Oh, Jade already emailed me. Perfect, man. This is awesome because usually I give away two pair of tickets. One person emails me, and the other one doesn't. So that's really cool. So anyway, Nathan, I guess you're going too since Jade is your girlfriend. And thank you guys for watching me on two uh, different channels. That means I get a two different views. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you. Do you want to name my Crocs Yank? I'm getting one soon. Yes, the name should be. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, or if it's a woman, uh, Jenneth, Jeremiah or Jenneth, I think that human names that are bastardized, not bastardized, but like, because Jeremiah is a regular name, but Jadif, anyway, it's a funny name, you should, anyway, anyway, uh, also, if you won tickets or shirts today, it'll be taken care of tomorrow because after this, I've, I've worked, done nothing but work today, I'm going to go sit with the new dog and cuddle the new dog. So I got a new dog yesterday. It was a foster. Yeah. Four dogs is so many dogs. Okay. Steve Irwin, except for you spelled his name wrong. How dare you? I R not E R. Yeah. Can't wait to meet you. Yeah. Uh, on the 25th, just come up and talk to me. Sometimes I've got people around, like just stand there, let it know that you want to talk to me too. Um, yeah, and uh, it's hilarious. Like, it's always the young people who are very courteous. So everyone says that young people are entitled, blah, blah, blah. When I meet people, what I like to do is I like to talk to you. And then if there's a line, normally if it's a young person, they look around, oh, it's really nice to meet you, shakes my hand, gives me you know, a hug or a handshake, whatever, and whatever they're comfortable with, and then they move on. Sometimes I'll get like, uh, I don't know, like a middle-aged person, let's say, and they'll just look around and see a kid behind them and just stand there and continue to talk to me as a kid waits to talk to me. That is the only gripe I have about expos. If you see a kid, move on. Come talk to me later. Circle back. I'll talk to you as much as you want, but don't like, I don't know. If when I was a kid, my, the biggest dream I ever had was to meet Steve Irwin and I never got to do it. So anyway, don't, uh, I, I know that I'm not, I'm not comparing myself to Steve Irwin in any way, shape or form, but I do know that people look up to YouTubers because we're on their TV, so therefore it's a big deal, and I want to meet everybody. So anyway, if you meet me once and you're quick because you see people, circle back around and come show me what you bought or whatever. Like I have no problem. I, I want to talk to people all day. That's what I do. Excuse me, two dollars. Are you gonna take a poop right now? You better not. Oh no. 
Can you name my crab? Itchy. The crab should be named Itchy. That's how I know that the stream should end soon because I'm saying stuff like that. Uh, can we see Diamond? Yes, I'll bring Diamond back out. I'm thinking of buying a Crescent Gecko, uh, Pangea Reptiles. I don't recommend buying starter kits, but... I also... Oh, that was a fly in that one. I also don't know what the starter kits are like from Pangea Reptiles, so I can't give you an accurate thing. Anyway, I'll go get diamond, and then we'll talk a little bit more. I love this lizard. I wish I could have another bearded dragon. I just love them so much. They're like the perfect lizard. Rufus Rogers, $5. Thank you, man. Uh, because of you and Clint, my 15-year-old son and I have bonded over building his new bearded dragon enclosure. That's awesome. So, hey, Charles, what's up, my man? Uh, Critterbox. It, expos are so fun, but it seems as tough as, but it seems as tough as soon as I get in the building, my body completely dries out, eyes mouth, and I'm sweating loads. Yeah. So it's so funny too. So uh, Charles is an up-and-coming YouTuber. So if you don't know who he is now, you will. Like, I think that guy hustles. I don't know how, like, I do know how old he is, but I feel like weird talking about how people, old people are when they're minors. Anyway, um, really great content. And actually, the Critter Box, one of the coolest build videos I've ever seen, like, no lie, uh, the last video that you did was great. So, nice haircut, looking good. This is my gripe with things in the world, okay? No one ever compliments me on my haircut. I get a haircut every two days for you people. You people get a haircut every two days and no one ever says anything about me being smooth as a porpoise for you. Okay. Um, what do you recommend? Itchy the crab. Yeah. What do you recommend buying spotted pythons or other species in that family? Spotted pythons, in my opinion, are the best. They're generally the most docile. They're the biggest, but we're talking a four foot snake. Children's pythons are the second best and pygmy pythons are a little bit cantankerous, but the smallest. So how often do you shave? every two days you gotta keep it smooth baby need my need me a girl smooth as a porpoise if any of you got the reference i'm smooth as a porpoise for you aaron so funny i appreciate you um uh, what to name crested geckos you ever have that friend where you can just send memes back from that show back and forth i shave my head twice a week every two days is just too much for me well, it just depends. Like sometimes I'll go longer, but generally like, yeah, it just, if it, the, the problem is I'm getting to the point now where the bald spot is getting pretty obvious. So even in the video, like if you're on Patreon, you've already seen it, but tomorrow's video uh, is a video from Thailand. And oftentimes when I travel, I don't shave my head because my razor gets confiscated, right? I use a safety razor, which is not like a safe razor. It's the old school type of razor that your grandfather probably used to uh, use. So it's a razor blade, right? Uh, like dime bag symbol, right? Dime bag Daryl. And, uh, and then, um, so it's like 14 cents a blade, right? So it's super cheap to shave. And they always get taken from me. They got, it got taken from me in Taiwan on the way, um, to Thailand. So by the time I'm doing that walkthrough of the cemetery in the intro of the video, you can see exactly where my bald spot is. Cause I hadn't shaved in like 11 days. It looked really bad. So I have to keep it shaved. Otherwise it looks ridiculous. So um anyone want to name my baby crested that hatched today jeff name it jeff jeff the crested gecko cletus cletus the crested gecko that's what you should name it uh if you wanted me to meet at an expo in the u.s what's oh no the best expo to catch you at um uh, i'll post them so i went to an expo in april in uh Kissimmee which I thought was pronounced Kissimmee for my entire life. But anyway, I did this trip to um, Central Florida in April, and I went to this Kissimmee Reptile Expo, but I didn't tell anybody about it, and it was a lot of fun. So, Cletus for Prime Minister. I agree. Hey, it, better than what we got now. Uh, make sure he does makeup during the election. Anyway, uh, see, this is how I know when the Expo's, uh, the uh, stream should end, because I start to get unhinged like that. Could you name my newest jumping spider? Peter. Let's go super 
stupid. Peter, the jumping because of Spider Man. Anyway, should I get a ball python or a pink tongue? Those are so wild. Like, should I get a, a giraffe or a tiger? Like, so wildly different. Uh, with that said, if you're asking that question, probably a ball python or a pink tongue. It depends. You want a big, tall enclosure or a wide enclosure? I'm getting a blue iguana soon. Captain, a blue iguana, really? Interesting. Good for you, Charles. Yeah, that is a anyway. Uh, Ashley Schmidt, 199. Diamond, you are so cute. He sure is. Look at, look at his eyes. Okay. New to the channel, what is meant by morph? I actually love this. So morph is one of those things you learn very quickly. That means that you're new, new, wet behind the ears. And I like that. So a uh, morph is basically a color pattern or, or um, sorry, a color or a pattern. It's a genetic mutation. So for example, okay, uh, al albinism, you, you know what an albino looks like, right? So a yellow snake generally is an albino, right? Like a, an albino, you know what an albino ball python looks like if you don't Google it, okay? Albinism is a recessive morph, right? So recessive means that one parent, you, you can carry the gene and not express it, right? There's two alleles, you carry it on one. Uh, if you're heterozygous, if you're homozygous, you carry it on both and you express the gene. So for example, I have blue eyes, okay? My dad has blue eyes, my sister has blue eyes, my mom has brown eyes. So that means that my mom must carry the gene for blue eyes because when my mom and my dad bred, ugh, ugh, gross. When my mom and my dad decided that they were going to be very in love and birds and the bees and have babies, that's just white street frogs. I'm going to talk through it. My mom and my dad had a 50-50 chance of having brown-eyed babies or blue-eyed babies. So on average, they should have had, because they had two kids, one should be blue and one should be brown-eyed. Both of us were blue-eyed, my sister and I. So they beat the odds. But basically it just means uh, – so anyway, a morph is just a genetic mutation, right? Humans are supposed to have brown eyes. Blue eyes are actually a mutation. Just like red hair is a mutation, things like that, right? Being all the way grown up and being five foot seven is a mutation. That's a thing for a different day. Kevin O'Neill coming through with twenty dollars again. I have four green and black Costa Rican dart frogs, uh, Dendrobates as uh, Aratus, one of my favorites. How often? Wait, how often? And how do you switch out the vivarium? I was told a Tupperware container, but that's concerning. Um, they're named Beta, Charlie, Delta, Echo, after Jurassic Park. That's smart. Okay. So that enclosure, that enclosure, that enclosure. I did a whole video about dart frogs. I suggest you watch it, or I recommend. I shouldn't suggest. Thank you for the $20, therefore 40 because you already donated 20 But um, I don't switch them out at all. I make them completely bioactive, and that way the isopods and cleanup crew just take care of everything, and I don't switch out anything ever at all. Sometimes stuff gets overgrown. I clip it. Um, if there's maintenance that needs to be done, stuff like that. But if you have a glass lid, front open enclosure with a little strip in the front for ventilation, you really shouldn't need to do anything. Yeah. Do you have birds? Nope. I used to have an Indian rig neck parakeet. Not a fan. Got rid of it. Uh, had some um, budgies. Got rid of them. One of them died. Got rid of them. I actually still have a budgie in my freezer from 2017. Morbid. Can't believe I just said my parents bred. Yeah, wed and bred. Okay, you should. What should I name my leopard gecko? Uh, Laramaya. That should be what you name it. Laramaya. Okay, two hundred thirty-nine people. So we're still okay. This is wild. Watching the UFC pay per view this weekend. Main card picks. Alex Panigua, four ninety-nine. Hilariously, the main card. Uh, so the UFC event this weekend is at Rogers Center in Toronto. So I could have went if I knew that before today. Um, I think the lioness takes it. Uh, what was the secondary bout? I know that the first one was the women's bantamweight title. What was the second bout? I'll give you my pick. I, oh, I saw it today. Oliveira. Who's Oliveira fighting? I know my pick was Oliveira, but I forget who he's fighting. Anyway, um, name is my Saharan Euromastix. Sarah. Oh, it's a boy. Sarah, anyway, give give this a, give it give it a girl name. I have uh, a uh, a dog named Steve, who is a girl, and then the new one is named Chicken. So I like stupid names. <sighs> Jamal. Oh, I get what you did there. Naughty, naughty. 
Uh, collab with Clint. Maybe. Okay. Do you have any false waters? Nope. Thoughts on coastal rosy boas? Eh, fine. They're pretty cool. I would rather a rubber boa. I mean, I know that's not the same thing, but North American boas, you know? Uh, what time is it? Nine o'clock. If you could trade place with any reptile, what would it be and why? Komodo dragons. Because nothing tries to eat them and they can just eat things. You ever going to visit Dingo in South Africa? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, I've got some trips coming up too, by the way. I've got some trips coming up. I do. So here's the deal. I don't travel in the summer months. Um, because, so I bought this house in 2020. We renovated the entire freaking house, including the backyard. My backyard is basically an oasis now. And why the heck would I want to leave when it's warm outside for four months? The other eight months, I will gladly leave and travel where it's warm. So I'll be going nowhere except for Pittsburgh this summer, likely. Uh, I used to live in Thailand, saw an Indian bullfrog. Indian bullfrogs are in Thailand too. I know they're in the Western Ghats of India. That's really cool. Well, my video tomorrow is about herping in Thailand. So maybe you'll enjoy that. Where in Thailand are you? They said Indian bullfrog. Would you get a uh, painted agama if you didn't have a beardy? Yes. I do love diamonds, but painted agamas are really freaking cool. Can you name my baby leopard gecko? Yep. Uh, baby leopard gecko named. Is it a boy or a girl? It doesn't matter. The name is going to be Lucille. Even if it's a boy. Lucille the leopard gecko. Right? Uh, everybody loves Lucy. I'm getting... Going to get dark frogs, wondering if three male dark frogs would live together. Well, it depends on the species, but generally dender babies, uh, males do really well and females actually fight more than males. So, But do your research first. Don't listen to some idiot bald guy in a podcast. Why are tokes in the Philippines brownish green and very seldom blue? Well, there's different localities, right? So the ones that are were in Bali look different than the ones that were in Thailand. I've never been to the Philippines, although I would love to try to go there. Monkey Buso. I'm doing a lot of weird winking now. Okay, we're 91 minutes in. If there's anything else you'd like to say, name your child chicken. I named a dog chicken already. If there's anything else you'd like to say or donate generously, I not generously, but donate, you're very generous. I appreciate you. Uh, Adam, Adam, name your firstborn, Lake Chapala. Okay, you're hilarious. Yeah, children would be cool one day. Anyway, if there's anything else you'd like to say for now, say now or forever hold your peace, whatever they say. What is the new direction? Oh, okay. We'll talk about this quick. Top fives are fun. They get all the views, but at the end of the day, how many videos about top five video, top five reptiles that can keep in a 10 gallon am I going to do? Top five 1950s reptiles. Like I like them. They're valuable. They're fun. But doing stuff like Diamond Story or I'm writing a video called uh, My Dog and My Reptile met each other and didn't end well like videos cautionary tales uh, more storytelling travel i want you guys to tell me what you want to see before we sign off here please let me know and keep in mind they need to be like not super specific how to get mites off of a five-year-old like i'm not going to do that like you know it has to be broad enough that people will watch here two euros i think that's the first euros we got in the stream um midian Sheldine. Shuldine, Shuldinir. Here in Greece, we have no expos and I envy you. Well, come to Canada. Where is Pittsburgh? In Pennsylvania. Is it the capital or is Philly the capital? I don't know. I know they're six hours apart. But Pittsburgh is home of the Steelers and Mac Miller, except for he is dead. Uh, Melissa's yard, $50. Oh my God, growing up, I would keep my animals in the freezer that died during the winter. Everyone said it was strange. I'm so glad I'm not the only one. Now go bury your budgie from 2017. So Melissa's yard, $50 is ridiculously generous. Thank you so much, Melissa's yard. Is Melissa's yard where you bury your dead animals? But yeah, I should go bury that thing. I also have a leopard gecko in there from last year. So anyway, Millie. Remember the video of finding Millie? Millie died a couple of years ago. So anyway, Melissa's yard, thank you for the very generous donation. You're the best. Codemeister05, $10. Thanks for doing what you do. Well, thank you for so generously. Uh, donating. I really appreciate it. Where is Pittsburgh? I just, you know, it's only four hours from here. So I do love that place. And I know Garrett keeps trying to get me to move there, but we'll see. Uh, Rufus Rogers, $5. Do you ever go to King of the Dawn events? 
is it you know that see how i knew what that is also after watching the diamond video i've become crazy trying to figure out if you have if you have mad child's lizard no it wasn't mad child i know who mad child is it was a uh, uh well a young black dude so definitely not mad child but uh super cool guy like you never you, you never meet somebody and you just can tell like that dude like there's a cool factor with this dude. I could tell that this guy was for real. So anyway, I've never been to a King of the Dot event. No, but I do. I am friends with battle rappers. Uh, what's the one around here? Beast mode or something? In my opinion, battle rap is kind of silly goose stuff. Just because like anytime you say to a group of adults, beast mode, they're like, beast mode. It's just kind of like cult, like culty, you know. Um, the Arizonan, $5.00. Uh, I just want to say thank you, Adam. You are the one who inspired me to start reptile keeping. Well, thank you, the Arizona for five dollars. Appreciate you, and uh, congratulations on your journey. And hope it goes well. Reptilia Rock, five dollars. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You are the absolute best. For the last one, we can do like effects here. Look at this. What if we go like this? It's a sepia tone that I got for my iPhone. Oh, bubbles! Wow, we're just getting crazy now, aren't we? There you go. Look at that. I could have been looking this good for the entire stream. Top five arboreal small lizards. Asher, I thought you were a super fan. I've already done that one. Do you have any amphibians? Turtles. You know what's hilarious? Maybe I shouldn't say this. There was a brand <laughs> that reached out to me, and they're like, hey, we have this tortoise-themed thing, but tortoises aren't reptiles, so I don't know if it would work for you. What? What do you think tortoises are? Of course they're reptiles. Anyway. This brand is awesome, and it was just funny because I think they just kind of misspoke. So anyway, I'm going to use this filter for that. Like, look how slick my head looks. Best pet insects? I don't know. Young smoke bowl. Uh, Adam Google. How do you get a zero bearded dragon? Uh, you go to A and A Dragons at the next reptile expo. Young smoke bowl. Thank you so much. Need a name for my male pink panther hog nose. Pink Panther is a morph of Hognose? Uh, Felix. Felix is the name. Kevin O'Neill, $5. Okay, thank you so much for your generosity. You're just doing it in small increments, but still a lot. I have four green and black dart frogs. I had two males and two females. I had to separate the females after they came of age. Well, if you don't want to breed them, that's what happens. Because when uh, a Costa Rican erratus dart frog love each other very much, and anyway, so that's what happens. This was a fun time. This was a good time. Thank you guys so much for all of this. How did you make money starting in the hobby I'm new? Uh, honestly, I've definitely made more money on social media than anything else. So it just depends. In the hobby, what does that mean? Like, do you want to be a breeder? Do you want to be education? What do you want to do? Uh, this is definitely the hardest to become successful at in the hobby in terms of like to be a successful YouTuber, social media person. Um, but it also could be the most lucrative, right? Look at the Brian's and Jay's and Emily's and people like that. So name our babies kind of tortoise, uh, Terry, Terry, the tortoise. There you go. How do you buy an animal from you? Be Canadian. Message me on Instagram. Buy a bloom. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to end this. I'm not going to do a discord, uh, voice chat tonight, but um, maybe we'll do a discord. So if you haven't joined the discord, please do. There's a link in the description below, but, uh, yeah, otherwise, thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. You guys are fantastic. We didn't get to $2,000, so I'm not going to pierce my nipple on the stream. Maybe next time, but if you're in the area on the 25th, you come to the reptile expo. I'd appreciate you. If you